somebody is wanting to get into this this lifestyle, this nomad, you know, digital nomad lifestyle, this kind of design your own, you know, life work integration, what would what would be two or three just really quick points that you think you've got to do these, you've got to follow these things. This is the roadmap to get there. Mm -hmm. So So I would say like the quickest way in my mind the quickest way to make easy money online is through Facebook ads. It's very popular right now. And there's a lot of businesses that don't do it still. So like, mm -hmm. it's a great market to pop into because you have a lot of like available clients who you can actually help. So like my first step, I guess would be like, go to Udemy or go like online, watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos, find as many free resources as you can, or buy like Udemy course on running Facebook ads and like mm -hmm. get yourself familiar with that because in general, when you start learning Facebook ads, you're going to start understanding ads in general and how they work and how to set them up and like the psychology behind ads and marketing. So that's like only going to be good for you no matter what you do in your life. Because once you like understand psychology and marketing, like you'll always be able to drive business either to yourself or to others. So then I guess step two would be like actually taking the action. So take mm -hmm. that knowledge and go try to find clients. I, I don't care how much you embarrass yourself or how much you don't feel qualified or whatever it is, go out there and try to take the things that you learned and run ads for people. Even if you have to start doing it for free mm -hmm. or only ask a hundred dollars or whatever, start adding that into your current income. And then like the transition there is like, get those clients and start walking away from your job. So whether you go down to part-time or like me, I went down to like only working a day or two a week, but I was like kind of like in that transition, transition period. And then I would say like the third and final step would be like book a ticket. Maybe not, you don't necessarily have to book a one-way ticket, but to me, I think booking a one-way ticket is the ultimate like sever of the cord. Like I have to figure this out. I might be stuck in this country if I don't figure it out. And that will light a fire under your butt for sure to like make things happen. And a lot of people don't realize like when you want to be a digital nomad, I guess I kind of like leave this out, get rid of all of your stuff. Like step mm -hmm. three is like yeah, minimize, cut, cut sure. the cords. Like I have yeah. two boxes of stuff that I have at a friend's house and that's all I own now. Cause now I have no wow. rent. I have no mm -hmm. car. I don't have to pay insurance. Like I don't pay for any of that. So now like what you don't realize is it's cheaper for me to travel full time, even with my plane tickets than it was for me to rent an apartment in the U S. So and I literally car, travel the world and I save more money than I did when I was just living in an apartment, like wishing I was traveling. So like book that one way ticket. I recommend like Thailand's a really easy place to start. It's super cheap. It's like, you're going to meet tons of like Chiang Mai, tons of digital nomads really, really cheap, tons of English speakers, great place to start, tons of co-working. Um, Medellin's another really good place mm -hmm. because it's pretty close to the US. You're not going to change time zones too much. It's getting more expensive because it's gained popularity. But sure. like, as an example, I'm going there next week and my rent for a month or it's like 33 nights, I got an Airbnb and I'm paying like $400 for it for like a wow. month and I'm living in like a nice condo in a high rise in the nicest neighborhood downtown. By yourself? So, are you sharing this with somebody else or? I'm sharing it with a local. So mm -hmm. like I'm living with a Spanish speaker who's like a woman who also is an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So like, and I found her on, Air, her, on Airbnb. So like wow. go on Airbnb, check, do for a month. That's another thing is like mm -hmm. when you cut that cord and you just like, like I'm booking a one way ticket, I don't have all my bills back home now because I got rid of my house, got rid of my car, got rid of like, I minimized, minimize your expenses as much as you can because yep. the more you minimize your at home expenses, like the easier it is. It's like now your Airbnb is your rent. Like you're not paying rent and your Airbnb. It's just like that one thing. And like when you book for a month on Airbnb, a lot of time you'll get crazy discounts. So like my place in Columbia, I got 50% off just because I booked the place for a month. Wow. So like if you can stay in a place for a month long, a lot of time it will be like the same as if you had only stayed there for like, like two or three weeks, you're getting like a week free or something like right. that. When they contact you online, they say, Hey, how do you do this? How do you do this digital yeah. nomad thing? I mean, you're shifting into, you're still doing kind of Facebook ads because, but I, I would think you could make just about as much money just answering questions on how to transition to being a digital nomad. I mean, 
Are you and that's kind of <laughs> combining those two things together? I mean, I'm doing a little life coaching here or, or you know. Yeah. So that's coaching. actually like, well, that's so like I told you about my live stream. So I'm starting to stream on Twitch because I get so many people people messaging me now asking these questions mm -hmm. and it's like I want to be able to answer them all individually but I honestly like I get so many messages at this point yeah. I can't sit on my Facebook messenger my Instagram messenger and I can't personally message all these people all the time right. and it's really hard to sit here and like text this out again and again and again it's really easy for like if someone jumps on my stream and is asking me questions and I'm having like a conversation with them and we might like I had 11 average viewers yesterday from my stream it was my first stream and it's like the, all those 11 people are getting to hear the same message so like i'm going to answer multiple people at once and like make this content that i can like later decide to like put cross platform yeah and like that is definitely like when i first started i wanted to travel the world and show people like how to live a better happier life like how to get themselves out of that dark place that i was in and now I, I had felt so much like a fraud, I guess, because I hadn't done it. Like I was mm. still in the dark place. I still wasn't a digital nomad. So I was like, yeah. how can I teach other people how to fix their life if I haven't done it myself? And now I'm like coming out the other end where I'm like, wow, I have done it myself now. And I still desperately like want to help other people do this. Um, and that's kind of like what I'm working on right now is like, I say that like I'm a happiness strategist because mm. like I met someone in Bali who was a happiness strategist. And like, to me, like teaching people how to make money, I'm not super passionate about that. What I am really passionate about is teaching other people how to like craft their dreams and how to live like a happier, more fulfilling life. Because I think like, if I'm like, Hey, I'll teach you how to make money online, take my Facebook ads course. I'm like, everyone's doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's easy to me, but like teaching you how to actually take control of your life and how to build the life of your dreams and take the steps to actually become happier right. and live that life. Like that's what I want to help people do. And like right now that's my thing is like, I just have to figure out like, how do I actually take someone from point A to point B? Right. People will take action based on the things you've just said today. Yeah. So, you know, that's, you, you I mean, that's know. amazing to hear because I still have that like imposter like syndrome where I'm like, do I really, am I qualified? <laughs> like, but the thing is like, I, I'm literally like walking the talk now. So like, sure. I'm like, okay, like even if I'm not like the best business person or the smartest person with finances or whatever, like I have actually done it and I've yeah. figured it out and I've taken enough risk that like, yeah. now I'm like, okay, I can tell you at least how to do <laughs> like avoid the things that I did wrong right. at the very exactly. least. Like, <laughs> exactly. And you learn from other people. I mean, you, you probably picked their brains and said, okay, is, how come this isn't working? What did you do to change this? But one thing that's really unique about your story too, and, and I mean, I've talked to a number of people that kind of fit in that same demographic is that, you know, you're not, it's, it's almost like there are digital nomads out there that really are just franchisees. They're, they've in essence taken a course mm -hmm. or they've joined a movement, so to speak. And they're really just selling the products of that thing you know, whether it's a mm -hmm. high ticket affiliate or whatever it is, but that's really just a franchise to me. You just, they just trained you to do their, their marketing program. You just did it, but you really had to figure it out almost from yeah. square one. And, and you, I think that is more valuable experience for people that want to transition into this role. So I, I want to really encourage you and, and just, you know, give you kudos about just the path you've walked and, and I uh, appreciate you, you know, just taking the time today to kind of share that with our, with our audience and just wrap up right now with telling us how people can find you online and, and who, maybe who the ideal person is that is looking for you, you know, who, or maybe it's both. Maybe it's, a, I want to be a digital nomad, but I also, I want to open a yoga studio. I mean, what are the, who's the ideal <laughs> person that you know? No yoga studio. Yeah. <laughs> no. I can't be tied down yet, so I can't get a physical location. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, like, for people to find me online, I just started doing Twitch, and I plan on probably streaming, like, live traveling, like, when I'm, like, in the airport or whatever. Like, I have to get an international mobile hotspot eventually to do that, but mm -hmm. um, Twitch is going to be great because it's going to be me talking kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Like, people can come in and just ask me questions, and I'll just be live talking and answering, and yep. I may be playing some video games while I'm answering questions. <laughs> Yeah, but, you're a you big know. gamer. You, you come from a family of gamers, I think you said once. That. Yeah, like, it's super awesome. Um, I'm on Instagram a lot. So, like, my travels, I put up, like, a lot of pretty pictures of my traveling. And I put up, like, Instagram stories so, like, people can see, like, 
the day in and day out of like actually being in other countries. Yeah. Is like one yeah. time I was like in the back of a basically in the back of a truck in Morocco when we were hitchhiking, <laughs> like just like filming, like being in the back of the truck. So like funny stuff like that is always on my Instagram. Um, and I would say like right now, like my ideal person, like as I transition and I'm moving more towards like coaching people, mm-hmm. I would say someone who's gotten themselves like in a career where like maybe they're making all right money, but they're not like super happy and they still always consider traveling the world, but they just don't know like, how do I take these steps? Right. Like, what do I need to be doing? Um, and like, I wish I could help everyone in the world. Like I know there's a lot of people who are struggling financially who I wish that I could help them. And that's like what my Twitch is for. That's what like my mm-hmm. free content is going to be for yeah. like people who can't afford a formal coach and they can come in and just ask me some questions. But my coaching is going to be like much more intense. Like it's Mm going to be for people who want to like be on the phone with someone every week and someone who's like pushing them out of their comfort zone and pushing them towards that dream life and asking them like some hard question. And like, I feel so blessed every day when I wake up, like I have Mm -hmm. such an incredible, amazing life now that like, sometimes I honestly can't believe that my life is real and I want to give that to other people. Yeah. 